Hey, I'm here with Kyle from Slightly Stupid, which doesn't mean he's stupid, but apparently he says it's okay if I call him that. Just a little bit. Depends on what day of the week it is. <laughs> you are here in Seattle. I'm gonna just try to imagine. This is your favorite city in the entire world. It's a beautiful place. Tell me what you love about Seattle. Uh, we just, when we're here, it's, it's, it's like you don't have enough time to soak it all in. You know, we, we're musicians, so we're, you know, we, we play and then we're off to the next place. So, obviously a lot of places you want to have more time just to kick it and soak it up. And this is one of those places because it's, it's beautiful out here and we just enjoy it. The weather today is really cool, so it ain't really hot because I'm a white boy and white boy don't tan. <laughs> white boy burn, so we appreciate the overcast a little bit. It's nice. You've been to a lot of different locations touring. Do you have a favorite? Uh, people ask us that question a lot, and it's, I mean, this, this will be one of our favorite places. Do we get that sure. recorded on For yeah. the Record? For the Record Seattle? Yeah. yeah. Every time we come up to Washington, the energy is, it's, it's, it's like through the roof, and that's kind of what a band thrives on when they play live. You know, you feed off the energy in the crowd and vice versa, so. This is definitely one of those places that just brings the energy. Plus, it's a beautiful place, whether you're in town, like if you're in Seattle, there's so many cool places, like all the seafood and mm -hmm. just good Very eat true. spots. And then when you're out here in like Redmond, it's just nature. So it's goulet, it's nice, you know? You started your career just, just last year back in high school, right? Yep, <laughs> yep. Tell me about that. You and Miles started this together? Yeah, Miles and uh, I'm, um, our moms were neighbors when um, we were like one and two, and they, they became friends, and then we started hanging out and just, you know, doing riding bikes and playing video games, you know. So we're kind of like brothers from other mothers. We, we, uh, we see each other a lot, like, sometimes we see each other more than we see our own, our own families, because we're always on the road, so. so we're just brothers from other mothers, you know, whether we're playing music or Whatever we're doing, we're always, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty close, tight family style. That's just the way, our, um, like a lot of the whole band is. It's, it's kind of just one big family. So. I was gonna say because they say that family is not always necessarily blood. Would you agree? You're in a band. You yeah, guys are I probably mean, it, obviously all the really same goes close. for the bands. When you're when you're traveling around with with the different bands that you're on the road with, you need to have that family vibe because without that, it just don't work. You know, it's like it just doesn't. You can't be on the road with someone that, you know, you're not family with. Every night, all the guys and all the bands, like last night, we were all up on our bus just shooting the shit and hanging out, blowing out, and it got smoky up there pretty quick. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> okay, so you are a cannabis supporter. Uh, what Has it changed anything at all with your band, with it becoming legalized? Has it influenced you guys or tell us about that we don't think of it like that we don't think of it like oh now that it's legal we can do this or that we've always just kind of done done whatever we've done and we don't think there's nothing wrong with it because there isn't so for us it's just kind of like if you go to a state where it's a um, zero tolerant state you know you have a little bit of you know just one percent tolerance two percent yeah, tolerance you just have a little <laughs> bit of common sense just to like because i've gotten busted in some places where I had a, a little bud in my pocket and they, they took me to jail. I'm like, are you really? kidding me? So there's certain places where they're stuck in the 80s where you want to watch your ass if you have anything because they don't give a shit. But to us, we just roll kind of, we don't really think of it like as anything. We just do whatever we do and whether it's legal or not. And to the place that, places that it is legal and decriminalized, God bless it. And then just hopefully all the rest of the places follow because it's not only a medicine and a herb, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot of things. It, it brings people together when you want to be creative, it helps you create. When you want to relax, it helps you relax. It helps you do a lot of stuff. So, you know, it's just good to, the, the, how far it's came along in the last few years. It's, it's pretty cool to see that. So supporters. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I guess we would say we, we support yeah. it, but again, we don't really think about it like I support it or right. I don't. It's just. Pro, negative, cons. <laughs> yeah. like, we just have fun. That's good. I think having fun in life is very important, so I like that you guys have that attitude. Yep. 
how would you describe your music to someone who's never heard it before? Because I feel like it's so organic. <clears throat> um, we just, it's, yeah, it's exactly, we just kind of have fun and we don't have, it's like Bob Marley said, there ain't no rules, there ain't no vows, you can do it anyhow. Music is music, there's no rules. You, you know, there's so many different ways you can make music, play music, put your music out nowadays online or put records out. There's just so many possibilities to where, you know, we just have fun and every, all the rest of the stuff follows, like you're saying. Just have fun. Don't really think about it. And that's where all the best stuff comes from, because sometimes when you try, it don't really work. True. Yeah. Who writes all your music? Um, we all write music, like everyone in my, our band writes music. Miles and I, we sing the songs for this band, but each guy in our band is really talented, so it's like they all have their own side bands and they all are, are really amazing got people so we all write music and then whoever comes up with an idea we kind of all just jump on it and add add our two cents and see where it goes it's, it's just you know just a layer cake of different different peoples and different instruments let's go through the band members real quick so there's kind of almost a hidden eighth band member right um we have a or bunch of different people that sit in with us okay. and we consider them family like like uh, Don Carlos, um, Annie Havland, oh sorry yeah. wrong, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I'm with the band. <laughs> Charlie Tuna he's backstage right now he'll be with us tonight but uh, they're just music music is music when you know like we were talking about the Fishbone guys earlier yeah. all the Fishbone guys our family and you know G-Love certain people you you know, half pint. You just consider once you Sublime? once you, once you meet. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, little Jacob is backstage yeah. right now. Jacob Noel and the, cool. the guys from Law. So that's Bradley's kid, and uh, he's hanging with us tonight. Yeah, it's just a big musical family. So at any any different time, you know, one of the the one of our musical family could show up. It's pretty cool. It's just like to have some of the people that you're a big fan of their music to show up and be able to hang out with them let alone to play music with them is it's pretty insane you know it's it's really humbling here in seattle we're very community driven and same thing you know just like your band we're all kind of a family here and actually uh speaking of family these guys reefer has a have a special gift for you because they wanted to welcome you here to town thanks reefer right and it's actually especially for you so like this bag is not for anyone else. It's made for you. Sweet. Because they um, they really appreciate you being here, and so there's a lot of fun goodies in there. Thank you guys. We'll break that up with all the stupid crew. We appreciate it. You're an artist by trade. Tell us about a little bit of the artwork on your guys' labels, on your albums, because they are so original and so cool and unique. How do you guys come up with that? Do you like pick certain artists to help design those, or do you have a crew that do you know is always like perfect for that? It's the same thing with the with the music, but, but just with artists. It's like we're we we're friends with so many different artists that they're all family to us. And uh, the last album that we did, one of our friends, um, Slogan, did the artwork, and he's part of the Expendables crew. He did a lot of does a lot of art for them. He does all the artwork for Cali Roots and a lot of different bands, but he did our last album, really amazing work. That's probably one of my, our favorite things. But uh, Emic, he's also another really talented artist. He's done a couple of our records, The Closer to the Sun and Cronkitis. And then uh, we just have different, different friends that are amazing. Forever Stoked are really good artists. They do a lot of waves and stuff. They're from uh, the Bay Area. And then um, Jay Alders from New Jersey. He's uh, like one of my favorite artists just because not only are we fans of him, but we shoot the shit a lot. And just his energy outside of being an artist, just as a human is, is amazing. He's an amazing person. So just to be able to know someone like that, that you're a fan of their stuff, but then to be able to hang out and trade ideas with that translate into other things is it's it's special you know to have that bond and to be able to just yeah just talk about life even with them just because you know besides being the artists they're awesome people right yeah and they come out they all come out to the shows and we have some brews and just kick it and talk, shoot the shit support each other yeah it's like biggie small said we uh, uh bullshit and party biggie and bullshit and party <laughs> that's all we do 
<laughs> there's there's nothing wrong with that. So Bullshit you're from San Diego, San Diego, San Diego. Uh, you yeah, guys, well, most of the guys are from San Diego. Okay. Half of the bands from like Boston. Our, some of our sound guys are from oh. uh, Florida, but for the most part, we all grew up. The band grew up in San Diego. How many days a year, or how often throughout the year, are you guys traveling? Because you guys are got to be on tour all the time, and <laughs> that's a bit of a challenge. Well, that's kind of the nature of what we do. So, you know, when the time we're gone, it's a sacrifice away from our families. Mm -hmm. And that's probably the toughest part, but the time that we do have with our families is, is it's you gotta look at the glass half full and it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a bigger blessing than most people get. So we're really blessed to be able to do what we love. And then when we're home, spend that time with our family, you know, it's like when we're gone, we're gone. But then when we're back, it's like, you, that's your main focus is your family. And we, we feel just be able to, to bless, to be able to do both, to be able to do what we love. And then the time we get with our, our kids, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you're very passionate about music and art and writing. Is there anything else that you're just so super passionate about? Like, tell me, what is Kyle passionate about in life outside of the music industry? Um, I like, I just like to, uh, when I'm home, I like to go to the beach or be outside and just be a nerd and make, make music, surf, skate, and uh, cook food. And, we all have different passions, you know. Mm -hmm. Music's just one of our passions, but right. you know, cooking, hanging, hanging, and just everyday shit, you know. Just, just being, just living. It's like, it's, it's you know, being from San Diego is nice too, because yeah. we travel all everywhere, and we go to some pretty cool spots. But I would never want to live anywhere except for San Diego. So when we get home, it's like, oh my god, it's this place is hard to leave. It's nice. To you know, have when we are have time off to be back in San Diego because there ain't no place like that. Well, you're like always on vacation in a sense because you're somewhere different all the time. But like, do you ever <laughs> just realize like you go home, you're like, but this is still vacation. I wake up every day to vacation. Like San Diego is a it's vacation paradise. destination. I always say it's paradise. It's kind of like Mexico, but with the freedom of the United States. You still have all the bomb Mexican spots, all the mm -hmm. all the good Mexican food. We're right on the water, so it's always good good breeze and. It's just nice, so I wouldn't want to live nowhere else. We just got back from, like, Brazil, Costa Rica, Australia, and it was gorgeous, you know. Maybe Australia, I, I, I wouldn't mind being there for a while. But most of the time, I, if on my time off, I want to be in San Diego, you know. It's just paradise. Well, hopefully we can get you back home soon. But I just <laughs> want to say on half of, like, everyone here in Seattle, it means so much that you would be here and come to our hometown and be a part of our family. Like, well, it's awesome having you This is like a here. second home to us, so you don't have to thank us. This is like, we've been coming here when Miles and I got out of high school. We hit the road in a band. We just started mashing, and we've been doing the same shit ever since. So we've been coming here for a while. And, like, we were talking about the energy here mm -hmm. is, it's, it's a it's it's a beautiful thing when you get here you feel that and that's that help that that's why we do what we do it's just because right. shit's insane. Well, you always have a friend here in this area. There's so many of us here that support you when you're here. So that energy, you're right on with that because yeah, we got a lot of good homies yeah. that have been coming from the shows from like day one, and you see them every year, and they're all just chilling out back. Some bring the smoker, and they'd be bar they're mm -hmm. smoking stuff, and everyone's bringing. That's what I love about up, up here is that there's some really good herbs and it just right. rains weed. But from the moment we get here, it's just coming at all angles. And I'm like, my nose starts tingling because smell that so much, <laughs> so much weed. The pollen goes up my nose. And I'm just like, oh, I love this weed, but dude, I'm, I'm I can't stop sneezing because there's so <laughs> much so weed. Last tour, I think we pulled out a drawer and it was just full of. It, we call them the, the the fun drawer. Just just that shit was just all different drawers of fun stuff now since it's 2000, South, 2017 they got like edibles uh, dabs parmesan cheese sap wax like you name it CD, CBD oils and all this shit so it's like our, our bus gets stocked for goodies. Or music albums that are hash. Like, what? That is mind-blowing. That is <laughs> so cool. Do you guys have any that form of... Smoked. Right? <laughs> do you guys have any form of uh, rituals before you guys go on stage? Um, we do a shot, and we do... It's like a one shot, one beer, one bourbon, one beer. Yeah. We do a shot, 
a stiff drink and then we go up and do our thing and then do it. have a beer but yeah we just kind of kill the nerves and all just right. throw up a, throw up a shot and then that's that's our ritual i feel like your natural high would just be like looking out on the crowd and seeing the smile and the energy like you're talking exactly. about so that too that too yeah. all the shows on this tour have been bonkers so we want to say thanks to all, all, all to the, all the fans because this shit is insane you you cannot dream it you got to go you got to show up and live it and it's it's been pretty pretty insane just all the energy at every show and we're on like the this is the halfway point of this tour this is six weeks out of 12 weeks so it's, it's been pretty good so far that's cool well we thank, appreciate it thank you oh, thank it was you. so awesome meeting you yeah you have some, a new fan <laughs> yeah anthony we do, love do, you do, do. <laughs> anthony kiedis you're my left titty brother <laughs> all you guys yeah. He's going to be watching this. I'm just uh, letting you know. I'm signing this. squeeze for you guys. So special thanks, you guys, to Dope Magazine, Reefer. We love you guys. Reform.rock. Thanks for having us here. And the show must go on. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. Original, I'm a big and 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 I